The mayor of Omaha speaking out on term limits, which will be on the November ballot. If approved, it would limit any Lincoln mayor to three consecutive terms. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Joe Harris joins us now with more in tonight's top story. Joe. That's right, Rod and Megan. The two mayors say the proposal is a dirty tactic and that it's inspiring some to push for term limits in Omaha. But others, but term others limit say that's proposal not should be directed at the office and not the office holder. On Thursday, Omaha Mayor Gene Stothert joined Mayor Chris Beitler in Lincoln to urge Lincoln voters to reject the proposal on the November ballot that would put term limits on the mayor of Lincoln. Stothert, a Republican, says the proposal is just a way to target the Democrat mayor. This is not a term limit proposal. This is a limit Mayor Beitler proposal. The way to remove an elected official from office is to field a competent candidate and have an election. She says if the proposal is passed, it would change the rules in the middle of the game. She says that is unfair to Mayor Beitler, who plans to run for a fourth term. Beitler says the push for mayoral term limits is being copied in Omaha. Now that conversation has turned to Omaha, where those who oppose Mayor Stother are discussing whether to place term limits on the ballot to stop her from seeking another term. I think it's a great conversation. I'm for term limits all around. Matt Innes is a spokesman with the Political Renewal Association who started the petition to get the proposal on the ballot. He says three consecutive terms is enough for any Lincoln mayor and that this proposal is about getting new faces and new ideas in there. We see where we have a Republican mayor in Omaha and a Democrat mayor in Lincoln joined together about doing what? Keeping power. It's never for the well-being of the people. We have uh, um, a mayor of Omaha that wants to hold on to her power. I think it'd be great if Omaha did term limits. Now again, this November, Lincoln voters will get to decide whether or not to limit a person to three consecutive terms as mayor. All right, Joe Harris from the newsroom with our top story. Thank you, Joe.